What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for today's video, it's gonna be a exotic review on the No Lands Beyond for Destiny. First effect is, is that it is the only exotic sniper rifle that's actually a primary weapon. It is the only sniper rifle that's actually a primary weapon. Next, we go on to its actual uh, parts for Accurized Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, and CQB Ballistics. I like to go with Accurized Ballistics because it gives the most impact and range. Next effect is Mulligan. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. I don't find it that useful to be honest. I found the percentage of it actually returning to be rather small. It wasn't that useful. This weapon also gets 5 increases for damage so that way it could become 331. Also, this weapon is part of the uh, Dark Below DLC, so you only can get it if you have the DLC. Uh, you also get agility increases, either or aiming down sights faster increases, or you get uh, faster reloading. I pick faster reloading because I like to reload fast. Next is the actual special effect of the gun. This is unique to the gun. Like all exotics, it has a unique effect that is only for this weapon. For this gun, it's the Master. Increased precision damage and kills briefly increased damage against next target. Now, the increased precision damage, I noticed it to be leaning around 10 to 15%. Couldn't get a uh, exact number because it always went to decimals, but it was around there. And for the kills briefly increasing damage against next target, it became about a 15% damage increase. And so together, it actually increases it by quite a bit. It could be around to uh, 25 to 30 percent damage increase if you get a precision kill, at precision hit after you killed an enemy. So that is quite a bit of damage increase. Uh, but all in all, I do not find it too useful considering the downsides of this gun. Which you can see, the major downside is that its fire rate is poop. It takes literally. I think a full second and a half at least in order to fire your next shot and when you're fighting a bunch of enemies that is not a good thing and because of that fire rate you don't want to miss a shot which makes mulligan kind of useless because you're going to be making sure that you're not missing because you don't want to have to wait so long between every shot and because of that fire rate increase uh like speed since it's so low, you don't get much time to actually get your next shot after you get that kill to actually utilize the skill where once you get a kill, you increase damage because there's not much time to actually shoot that because you're spending a lot of your time just uh, pulling back the pin on your gun. So it's it kind of hurts its actual use. All in all, this is just an exotic shard. Uh, honestly, I would dismantle it, but it is a cool novelty weapon. If you're a collector, this would be a pretty awesome weapon because it's an elephant gun. It's a sniper without scope, which actually it looks really nice. Also, for all the PvP players, it is pretty bad because it doesn't one shot to the chest, it two shots. And because of that fire rate, it becomes next to useless in that case. So, that's a no land beyond for you guys. Not the greatest weapon at all. Probably the worst exotic I've gotten so far in this game. Oh well, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day guys.